Look, baby. This is where we stay till tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, see? What are you going to do with me? Theater 5 presents... Hit and Run! Everything clear, Wally? It's clear enough, Jim, but I don't like it much. I don't either. Look, you're my lawyer, and I want you to keep your nose clean as much as you earn it. But you got to take charge while I'm out of town. How serious is this trouble? Eh, nothing really. In Glovestown, some of the numbers guys are dipping in the till. And the punk operating the gambling joints is out of line. I'm just going over there, and I'm going to get a couple of boys to... Rough up a couple of those. No, I don't want to know what you're going to do. <laughs> no, of course not, Counselor. I'll spare you the details. You just keep your eyes on things till I get back. Oh, uh, while I'm gone, there's one little thing, Walter. Oh? Okay, Allie, come on in. Hi. Did you tell him, Jim? Now, wait. Jim, I thought we agreed I wouldn't have to see Allie again. Who do you think you are, you shyster mouth? Shut up, Allie. One more word out of him and I'll slap him around like I did before. I said shut up. Now, as for you, Walla, remember this. Allie's still my kid brother, see? And while I'm away, you take care of him. Anything he wants. Anything he needs, understand? <laughs> I just hope you try to cross me up, Walter. I'd like a reason to slug you I again. I said shut up, Allie. Now, you got it straight, Walter? Now, you take care of the kid. Even if he kills somebody. All right, show him in. I'm in already. Yeah. No, sit down. What's on your mind, Ellie? There's a cop named Ed Brannigan. I want you to get him transferred to the suburbs or something. Just like that, huh? Just like that. Why? To teach him a lesson, that's why. Just do it, that's all, Walter. Look, Allie, your brother Jim's organization has a very nice, shall we say, working relationship with the police. They're sensitive about it. So we don't push them around any more than we have to. We leave them as much dignity as we can. Walter... I told you what to do when you do it. This cop, this Brannigan, brought me in on a drunken disorderly last night. He arrested you? You didn't call me? <laughs> I didn't have to. The desk sergeant knew who I was, and he fell all over himself apologizing. He didn't seem to be worrying about dignity. And don't you either, Walter. Slap it to that cop. You. <laughs> you. You don't dare say what you want to do, you, Walter. <laughs> Allie. Jim will be back in a few days. Why not wait till then? If he says all right... Then I, I want that cop transferred, and I want it done now. Look here, Allie, I'm a lawyer. Nuts, you're a mouthpiece, a shyster, a crooked shyster. Cut that out. Make me. Are you enjoying this? Making you sweat? If it weren't for Jim... Sure, I know if it weren't for Jim. You've got to sit there and hate my guts, but remind yourself every minute that I'm Jim's kid brother and be respectful to me. What I remember is you stealing a car when you were barely in your teens. That's what you remember. Mm -hmm. That and a lot more of the same. Well, what I remember, Walter, is you got me off each time. You said yes, sir, and you saluted. And you got me off, shyster. You little punk. That's what I was waiting to hear. That's all. Hmm. Now get that cop transferred. You hear me? All right. All right, Alan. That's enough. Oh, and by the way, slip me a couple of hundred. I feel a big night coming on. Or can't you spare it? Two hundred? Sure. Sure, Alan. <laughs> Boy, I bet you'd love to see me hurt. But you never will. Because whatever happens... I'll always have you to get me out of any jam. Isn't that right, Counselor? Sure, Allie. <laughs> A 
about a scotch, Mike? Oh, hi, Allie. I didn't see you come in. I've been over by the door about five minutes. Oh? No, uh, uh, hold that scotch a minute, Mike. Uh, I've been over by the door and I've been studying. What do you think I was studying, Mike? Well, I, I couldn't say. I was studying little Miss Innocence there. Oh, that young girl? That's right. Pretty young stuff. Oh, yeah, I told her I couldn't serve her, Allie, but well, she wants to stay, so I give her lemonade. The little lady must want to be picked up. Yeah, some guys have tried, but I told them to leave her alone. Do you appreciate that? No. <laughs> she didn't really want lemonade, did she? No, nah, she wants to feel big, Allie. She wants to feel important. I've been what you call uh, protecting her. You've been what you call saving her for me, Mike. Uh, Allie, you know, she's pretty young. Uh, what did you say, Mike? Nothing. Just remember who owns this bar. I, I didn't mean nothing, Allie. Sure you didn't. I'll take that scotch now, Mike. I'll take it over there beside the little lady. Oh, sure, Allie. And I think the little lady, well, after a lemonade, a daiquiri. Nice and strong. Sure, Allie. Hello there, cutie pie. Oh. Hello. I got a surprise for you. Oh? I am a magician. Oh. Well, can you say anything but, oh? <laughs> I don't know. All right, we'll find out. You see Mike, the bartender over there? Yes. Now, what would you think he's going to do? Oh, I don't know. Yes, I do. I can tell you. He's going to come over here and tell you to get away from me. Okay, that's what you say he'll do. Mm-hmm. That's because that's what he's been doing all night, right? Yes. Well, what I say he'll do, I say he'll come over here and put down a scotch for me, and for you, he'll put down a daiquiri. Oh. And I'll say, that's all, Mike, the little lady and I want to be alone, and he'll say, sure. Oh. And he'll go down the other end of the bar. I don't believe it. Here you are, Allie. Scotch and a daiquiri for the lady. Thanks, Mike. Now, cutie pie and I want to be alone. Oh, sure, Allie. Uh, just call when you need something, Allie. <laughs> well? How did you do it? I'm a magician. No, I mean, really, how? Don't ask questions. I just figure if the little lady wants to see life, the little lady ought to be allowed to see life without some bartender lousing her up. Well, thanks. You got a name? I'm Ann DeVillo. Anything you need fixed? I don't know what you mean. Oh. Oh, this drink tastes strong. It's good for you. What I mean is that I'm a magician. And if there's anything you need, or maybe a family needs, why, just say the word and I'll, uh, wave my magic wand. <laughs> well... Well, if you could fix it up for my pop to earn a bigger profit. What does your pop do? Well, he's got a little business. It's construction work. He takes subcontracts, if you know what that means. I know. From big contractors with buildings to put up or like that, and he does the plastering part. What's the name of his outfit? DeVillo and Son. The Son part's my brother. DeVillo and Son. Mm -hmm. In need of subcontracts on construction for plastering work. It's as good as fixed. <laughs> you sound as if you meant it. You'll see. Now, uh, how's about some plastering work right this minute? Mike? Yeah? Allie? Two more. You're going too fast, Allie. You call this fast? Wait till we get near the airport around this next curve. Then I'll show you some speed. I'm scared. Slow down, please. The little lady says, slow down, we'll slow down. Okay. <laughs> You're a cute little trick, you know that? So where you been all this time? Home. Mama wouldn't let you out? Oh, it's my father who wouldn't let me out. He's old-fashioned, my pops. Ah, uh, he'll get over it. What'd you do tonight, sneak out? Well, we had... We had a fight. He said he wouldn't let me go to the dance Saturday, so I... Oh, so you came out and found me. Well, baby, it's a good thing. Except it's getting late. Ah, so what? Well, I'm afraid of what he'll say when I get home. You just tell him he's going to have all the subcontracts he can handle. That'll shut him up. Oh, you don't know my pop. <laughs> <laughs> Watch. He'll be begging you to go out with me and stay all night so he can keep getting work. You make it sound as if... As if what, cutie pie? As if I was... Selling myself. Well, don't you worry your head about it. <laughs> 
You're going too fast again. Well, we got to get there fast. Where? The place I've got. Oh, please slow down. I slow down once, that's enough. Please. I can handle a car, kid. But I'm afraid. Watch. Watch me take this curve. You hit that man. Yeah, I know I hit him. Well, stop. Stop, you kidding? We've got to go back and see if we can help him. Calm down. But, Allie, that man, he may still be alive. Not a chance, kid. He went through the air like a dummy. You've got to stop anyway. Not Allie Glazer, no, sir. But what kind of a man are you? You... Allie. Huh? Take me home, please. No. Please. Maybe you haven't noticed, baby, but the right headlight's out. For all I know, there's blood or clothing or something on the front of the car. They can stop me on account of the headlight, and then I'm stashing this car out of sight. All right. Don't take me home. Just let me off here. Not on your life. Allie! Please. You're a witness, baby. You stay with me. What are you going to do? Hide. But you can't hide forever. I can hide till 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. I can dump this whole problem in Walter Whalen's lap. Walt? Whalen. He's a lawyer. Allie? Well, what? Let me out, Allie. I won't tell anybody. I won't say anything. I swear I'll just go home and... Shut up. But you can't hold me a prisoner. Can I? That's just what I'm going to do, kid. Hold you prisoner. You get used to that idea and shut up about it. <laughs> Here we are, cutie pie. Okay, come on in. All right. Here's where we stay till 10 tomorrow morning. But what are you going to do to me? Keep you right here. You like it? The little apartment I have for when I got little ladies that want a pot of their nose. You know, you could use a little makeup job yourself right now. I don't want... There's nothing I want but just to get out of here. Look, you're starting to give me a pain. Now, knock it off. You hit that man and left him lying there on the street. Okay, you asked for it. You want any more of that? Please. I said you want any more of that? No. Please, no. Because I don't mind giving it to you. You behave and I won't hit you. I'll behave, Allie. I'll behave. I think you better know what you're up against. Do you know who I am? All I know is Allie. What about my last name? You didn't tell me. Oh, yes. When you were speeding away from the accident, I asked you to stop, and you said... You said not Allie Glazer. Glazer? Big Jim Glazer's brother. Oh. My brother owns this town. I know. You don't know everything. Not yet. Let me spell it out for you. At 10 o'clock, we're going to see Walter Wayland. He handles all my brother's legal affairs. He handles the fixes, too. And this is going to be a fix. But how can you fix it? Don't ask me. Walter Whalen will take care of all the details. But if he's a lawyer, I mean, it's one thing to maybe fix things, but like political things, but, but killing a man, hitting a man with a car and running away. That's enough. <laughs> From now on, I hit you not once, but five, ten, fifteen times for every time you say I was driving any car that hit a man tonight. You understand? Yes. So, was I driving any car that hit any man? No, Allie. Well, that's better. Uh. Okay. Now, just to straighten you out, Walter Whalen will fix this because he has to fix it. Not just for money, but because that's what he's for. <laughs> to fix things. You get that? Yes. All right. And I'm keeping you here, and later I'll take you to Walter's office because he may need you as a witness. To what? Well, the accident happened at 4th Street and Folsom Avenue. He might want you to swear I was miles away from 4th and Folsom. With you. But what if I didn't say that? 
What if your father's company never got another subcontract? Oh. Oh, you couldn't do that. Couldn't I? Every construction contract in this town goes through my brother. Now, you see what you're up against? Yes. On the other hand, my brother might be very grateful to the father of a girl that proved I was 15 miles away from Fourth and Folsom. I see. So, what are you going to do? I guess I have no choice. I mean, for myself, it's one thing, but... But for my pop... Now you're talking. I'll say you were with me and miles away. Fine. But don't get just one idea fixed in your head. Maybe that won't be what Walter Whalen wants you to say. What? Maybe he'll want you to say that you weren't with me. Maybe he'll want you to say you were at 4th Street and Folsom Avenue when the accident happened and describe the car and give the license number. But how would that help you? I didn't say my license number. Maybe Walter will pick somebody who's been giving my brother a hard time. <laughs> Two birds with one stone. Oh, my God. What's the matter? Don't you know? Do you mean you really don't know what's the matter? You killed a man. <clears throat> and go ahead and hit me. I don't care. You killed a man. It's bad enough to leave him lying there. Stop saying that. I don't care how much you hit me. I can understand wanting to get out of it yourself, but picking some other man and making me swear someone else did it, you... You're disgusting. You through? Yes, I'm through. Fine. Because now I'm going... And I'm getting out of here. No, you don't. Yes, let me go. No, you oh, don't, no. baby. Oh, please. Oh, please leave me alone. <laughs> Don't do that. Where were you tonight? With you. Where? I don't know. Fifty miles away from Fourth and Balsam. If that's what Walter wants, that's where you were? Yes. Yes. Don't hurt me again. And if Walter wants you to say you were at Fourth and Balsam and saw the accident? I'll do anything you say. Anything Mr. Whalen said. Fine. Let's get comfortable till 10 o'clock. And we'll go see Walter. Well, Allie Glazer and the young lady. Sit down. This is Anne de Villa, Walter. And tell Walter what you're ready to do. I'll, uh, I'll do anything you want me to, Mr. Whalen. I, but I don't like it and I don't want to. I don't know what this is all about, but I certainly don't want you to do anything against your will, Miss DeVille. She wants to, all right. I imagine, Allie, that means you've arranged for her to fix something or other for you by swearing falsely. So what? Well, I'm not going to be a party to it. Whatever it is, Allie. And my advice to Miss DeVille is not to swear falsely to anything. Where do you get off of that stuff, Walter? Just remember, my brother Jim will be back in town in a day or two. I guess you haven't heard, Allie. Jim's back already. What? Yes, he is. Now, Mr. DeVillo, you'd rather tell the truth than some falsehood, wouldn't you? Yes, Mr. Whalen. Well, you can start to do so in a moment. And I sincerely hope it will be very damaging to our friend Allie here. Walter, have you gone crazy? If Jim is back, all I got to do is pick up that phone and talk to him Ah, and... but you can't do that, Allie. You see, Jim got back at four o'clock this morning. And he was killed by a hit-and-run driver at the corner of Forth and Folsom. 